Taking great product photos for your eBay listings can make or break your item selling. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 quick fixes for you to be able to change up those photos, fix them up so that your item will hopefully sell a little bit faster. And if for some reason you forget to use these tips when you're at home taking photos of your products, I'm also going to show you how to fix these things after the fact if you're using the app called List Perfectly. List Perfectly is a site that I use to help cross post my items to eBay, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, lots of multiple platforms. So I'm going to try to keep those brief because I know not everyone uses List Perfectly, but if you're interested, I've got a coupon code and a link down below that you can get 30% off of your first month using List Perfectly. Hi, my name is Margaret and with my partner Juan, we have a combined 10 years full-time reselling and we make videos just like this one to help resellers like yourself become more successful. So whether you're a new reseller or you are just wanting to ramp things up with your income, go over there and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content that might help you reach those goals. So the first quick tip that I can give you when you're taking photos for eBay is to set your phone to square. That way it's already aligned with what eBay and other platforms like Etsy, Mercari are putting up on their site. Those photos are square. So let me show you how to set your phone to square. So once you've gotten into your camera app, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. It will be generally rectangular. And what you're going to want to do is down where it says photo, where it's highlighted in on mine yellow, you're going to slide up on your phone and it should give you some other options for ratios for your photo. So let's take a look at that. So right here where you see I've swiped up, you'll see some different um, options there. And the one you're gonna select is the one that says four and then the colon and then the three, because that means four by three. So we're gonna select that and then it will give you these options, four by three, square, 16 by nine. You want to select square right here. And that will automatically take your screen into a square mode. So say this is my photo, I forgot to make it square. What I'm going to do when I get into list perfectly, they've got all of these tools here. I'm going to select crop and then I'm going to take this tool and make my photo square, confirm crop, and now I've got a square photo. Hey, I was editing the video and I realized that I never asked you what areas you might need help with with your eBay business. I'm trying to make videos that are gonna help you become more successful on eBay, so leave a comment down below and let me know an area that maybe I could touch on that can give you some tips and insight and help you with your sales on eBay. So I'm going to show you two ways to brighten your photos when you're in your phone app. The first one is it, you're going to have to reset it every time. And then the second way I'm going to show you how to lock it so that if you're in the same spot, taking the same batch of photos, you don't have to keep setting it over and over and over again. So what you're going to do is take your finger and you're just going to tap on your screen and hold it. And then this little sunshine is going to pop up. And with that, you can slide your finger up to brighten it or down to make it darker. So as you can see, I've brightened it up. Now, if I want to lock it in, I'm gonna take my finger and hold it until that AEAF lock shows up. Then when I brighten it up and take my finger away, it'll stay locked in to that position. So unless I click away from the app or change any of the settings, it'll stay there for that AEAF lock on that brightness for all the photos that I'm taking. That can save a lot of time. So I forgot to brighten my photo on my phone. Here's how I'm going to fix that in List Perfectly. Same way as I did with Crop, I'm gonna come down here to Brightness, select that, and then a bar will come up, and then I will just slide this over until it's as bright as I think it should be. Now, if it doesn't get as bright as I want, and it's still maintaining the, the integrity of the color of the item, what I'll do is I'll save it, I'll select it again and then I'll select brightness again and you'll see that that bar has now gone back to the center so I can brighten it up just a little bit more to make it look even better. The next thing we're going to talk about is lighting. Lighting is really, really important. And if you are able, natural lighting is usually the best. Now, if you don't have natural lighting or maybe you're taking pictures in the evening when you're able to, there are some different options that you can use to get the best photos you can. 
One way is to use a ring light. Another option is to use some strategically placed flashlights. So here I'm showing we've got our ring light, we've got another little light here that sometimes we use, and then when we couldn't get just the right photo of this vase, we ended up pulling out a flashlight so that we could kind of hover it above it to really get a good photo of this item. And then if you're having an item that is particularly hard to get the, the color just right, it just doesn't look like it does in person, then I suggest taking it to a different area. I know some people say keep your hands out of the photos, but if it looks best when you're holding it up to a light to really see what the colors are, say on a piece of glass, then I suggest doing that because you want to present your item in its best form. So the next thing you want to make sure you do is to have your photo centered and that it is close enough to this camera that you can really see all of its details. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. So first, let's take a look at this example photo that I took and then let's jump onto my phone and I'm going to show you how I fixed it on my phone. And then I'm going to show you how to fix it in list perfectly if you had an oops and you need to take care of it over there. So here's my quick setup, which is totally fine. But as you can see, I've got my Snoopy far too down in the corner. He's not centered. So what I'm going to do is get him centered. And then if I need to, I can zoom in with my fingers if I don't want to get way, way close with my hands. So I can zoom in with my fingers. And then the next thing I want to do is I can brighten it up some. But I also thought, you know, this is kind of a, a whole hum angle. So I went ahead and turned Snoopy so I could kind of see the front of the doghouse as well. So here's my item that I took the pictures of and I did not center it. So what I want to do is again, click crop and I can, you know, change it to square grid, whatever I need to do there, but I can just do it by hand and bring it down and put it in the center and confirm crop like that. Then I can also adjust that brightness here. So now I've got it square, centered, and brightened. The next tip I have is to remove the background. And this is something that I don't always do because sometimes the item does not look good with the background removed. So this is sort of a sometimes thing to do. And I don't think I can do this with my phone. I haven't figured that out yet, but I can show you how to do it in this perfectly. And I believe you can also do it in the eBay app. So here I have this cookie jar. And when I go to remove the background on this item, because there's a glare on one side of it, it kind of makes it look flat or like there's something missing. So it doesn't really work on this item. So I can revert that and not save it out. Let's try removing the background on this one. Aha, uh -huh. this one I like. So this is one of those times where I would remove the background because he looks a lot better without that kind of grayish background. If you have an item that lights up or does something, take a photo of that thing either being lit up or take a quick video of it playing the music or turning or doing whatever it is that it does. So here's an image of a little haunted house that we have and here's the photo of it lit up. Buyers want to see that the item actually works. We also took some photos of a radio today. And what I did was I took a quick video showing that it works. And then I can embed that video into my eBay listing so that the buyer can click on that and see that the, that the radio is actually working. And if you're wondering how to do that, I'm going to link a video here showing you how to embed videos in your eBay listing. The next thing you want to make sure you do with your photos is that you take pictures of every single side inside and out of your item. You don't want to leave your customer guessing as to what the bottom looks like. Are there any marks on it? Are there any cracks or damages? So you want to make sure that, that they can see everything there is to see about your item. So here's another Snoopy item that I have. And let's take a look at all the photos that I took of this item. So I made sure I took front and back. Take a picture of the top looking down. If it's a mug, I want to look down inside of it. Any kind of labels or markings, I want to make sure I get a close up of those. The bottom of the item showing that it's felted and that there's a little wear to it. Front, back, sides, just all over the entire thing. That way they can see every single side and aspect of it. So next up is measurements. I highly recommend you taking a photograph of your measurements 
to add to your photos in your listing. I always get my measurements in the photos. I always take a picture of the measurements in my photos so there's no confusion. Flaws. Now I know when I was a new seller, I wanted to make sales so bad that I downplayed the flaws of the items and it really did affect me negatively. I think if this is something that I can impart to you if you're a new seller is to over what is it? Under promise and over deliver so that the item that they get is better than what they think it might be. So take a picture of any flaw that you've got. So when I take pictures of this, I'm going to make sure that I take pictures of all of these flaws. If I have anything with cracks or crazing, I'm going to make sure I take pictures of that. If I have something if I have an item that's missing a piece or a part is broken off, I'm going to take pictures of that and disclose it in my listing. If you enjoyed this video, I've got a video here that I think you will really like. And YouTube thinks that this is a video you will really like. And if you liked videos like these and want to catch more of our videos when we put them out, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.